Good day. In this video, we are going to discuss the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Let's dive on its geography. Vietnam is located on the easternmost edge of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, with China to the north and Laos and Cambodia to the west. Its more than 2,000 mile long coastline abuts the Gulf of Tonkin, the South China Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. These seas create both direct access to the wider Pacific Ocean and a critical buffer to Vietnam's long and narrow land territory. Modern Vietnam consists of two geographic and population cores, the Red River Delta in the north, home to the capital of Hanoi, and the Mekong River Delta in the southern lowlands, where Ho Chi Minh City sits. These cores are separated by over 1,600 miles and connected by a thin and largely mountainous coastal spine, only around 30 miles wide at its narrowest point. Despite mountains and jungles, the northern Vietnamese core has a long history of invasion by forces from China. This almost continuous pressure from the north in part forced Vietnam's early rulers to expand the country's boundaries. First southward, to the Mekong River Delta, and then westward, into present-day Laos and Cambodia. Historically, and today, the natural geographic separation of Vietnam's northern and southern cores has exacerbated the two regions' social, cultural and political divide, leaving the country vulnerable to invasion by foreign powers, whether Chinese, French or American. Vietnam's primary geographic challenge is to secure buffer space, both on land and sea. Today, Vietnam's need for space and security in the South China Seas pits it against China, also in the throes of maritime expansion, thus adding a new dimension to Vietnam's long-standing struggle to carve space for itself against its larger northern neighbour. Vietnam is located on the easternmost edge of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, with China to the north and Laos and Cambodia to the west. Its more than 2,000 mile long coastline abuts the Gulf of Tonkin, the South China Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. These seas create both direct access to the wider Pacific Ocean and a critical buffer to Vietnam's long and narrow land territory. Modern Vietnam consists of two geographic and population cores, the Red River Delta in the north, home to the capital of Hanoi, and the Mekong River Delta in the southern lowlands where Ho Chi Minh City sits. These cores are separated by over 1,600 miles and connected by a thin and largely mountainous coastal spine, only around 30 miles wide at its narrowest point. Despite mountains and jungles, the northern Vietnamese core has a long history of invasion by forces from China. This almost continuous pressure from the north in part forced Vietnam's early rulers to expand the country's boundaries. First southward, to the Mekong River Delta, and then westward, into present-day Laos and Cambodia. Historically, and today, the natural geographic separation of Vietnam's northern and southern cores has exacerbated the two regions' social, cultural and political divide, leaving the country vulnerable to invasion by foreign powers, whether Chinese, French or American. Vietnam's primary geographic challenge is to secure buffer space, both on land and sea. Today, Vietnam's need for space and security in the South China Seas pits it against China, also in the throes of maritime expansion, thus adding a new dimension to Vietnam's long-standing struggle to carve space for itself against its larger northern neighbour. Its major languages are Vietnamese, official, English Tay, French Thai, Chinese Muong, Khmer and other. And the major religions are Buddhist 48%, New Religionist 11%, Traditional Beliefs 10%, Roman Catholic 7%, and other 24%. Now in terms of agriculture, it is rich of the following. Rice, sugarcane, cassava, coffee, rubber, cotton, tea, pepper, soybeans, cashews. It has also peanuts, bananas, chickens, pigs, cattle, buffalo, ducks, goats. Also, one of its natural resources includes fish. 
and in fact one of the country's industry is food processing. According to its rich history, the nomadic Mongols, Viets, from central China settled the land. A distinct group began to emerge about 200 BCE in the independent kingdom of Nam Viet, which China annexed in the 1st century BCE. Vietnamese defeated Kublai Khan's armies in 1288. The Vietnamese also descended from migrants from Indonesia. The southern region was gradually overrun by Vietnamese from the north in the late 15th century. While the Portuguese were the first Europeans to enter the area in the 16th century. In the early 17th century, the country was divided into two parts Tonkin in the north and Kochi. China in the south. The French took the country in the period from 1858 to 1884 and controlled it until World War II. But then, the Japanese occupied Vietnam from 1940 to 1945. After World War II, the French and Vietnamese fought until French forces were defeated in 1954, and an agreement divided Vietnam at the 17th parallel into North Vietnam and South Vietnam. The Communists in the North tried to take over South Vietnam, leading to the Vietnam War 1964-1973, which claimed lives of 1.3 million Vietnamese and 58,000 Americans who aided South Vietnam. And guys this makes most of its history. To continue, the Civil War resumed in 1975, North Vietnam invaded South Vietnam, and the South Vietnamese government collapsed. Thus, the country was officially reunited as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam in 1976. From the mid-1980s, the government made economic reforms and began to open up to Asian and Western nations. The United States lifted its 19-year-old trade embargo in 1994 and in 2005 was Vietnam's main export market. There are also natural disaster in the history. Like for example floods in 1999 killed over 550 people and left over 600,000 families homeless. Finally, in 2007 Vietnam became a member of the World Trade Organization and was elected a non-permanent member of the UN Security. Vietnam has rich past history, geography, people and religious belief widely influences on their food. For instance, Vietnam's cuisine reflects indigenous ingredients which are fish and seafood, tropical fruits and vegetables, and glutinous rice and also the Chinese, French, and Indian Malaysian colony influences the food. Chinese influence, resulting from more than a millennium of Chinese control, reflects in long grain, rice, tea, stir-frying, hot pots, and chopsticks. While, the French influence shows in the use of potatoes, asparagus, green beans, French bread, cream-filled pastries, meat and fish pates, coffee, and sugarcane. The Vietnamese, especially in the north, retain Chinese cooking and eating methods. The popular are soups, cooked vegetables, cooking meat pieces in a pot of boiling liquid at the table, and eating with chopsticks. Moving on. Central Vietnam has more refined cuisine with spicier dishes from chili, peppers introduced by the Portuguese fermented fish sauce, and game. Whereas, the tropical south shows Indian Malaysian influences in curries and dishes with coconut milk. Southern food is more varied. More fresh fruits and vegetables and more sweets, and spicier than northern food. The leaf wrapping custom, diners assemble their own packets of cooked meat mixture on a green leaf, add herbs, and wrap, existed before Chinese occupation and is still practiced, mainly in the south. The region least influenced by China. Vietnamese food is mainly rice, soups, vegetables, fruits, soybean products, fish, shrimp, and pork, flavored with salty fish sauce and lemongrass. Guy's lemongrass is commonly known as tangut in Visaya. Anyway, Vietnamese Buddhists eat soybean products on the first, fifteenth, and last day of the lunar month, when meat is prohibited. Interestingly, Vietnamese food spread to North America and Australia, where refugees from Vietnam settled after the Vietnam War. Whereas, the typical foods consumed by the people are the following. 1. Bread and cereals. 
rice long and short grain corn, wheat, rice dishes, sticks, noodles, paper, and cakes, wheat noodles, pastry, and French bread. Rice is usually eaten at every meal. Two meat, poultry, fish, chicken, pork, beef, buffalo, duck, goat, wild boar, deer, fish and seafood, eggs. Three dairy products. Sweetened condensed milk used in coffee. Whipping cream used in pastries. Fats and oils vegetable oil, salt pork, coconut oil. Fat is disliked. Many foods are eaten raw or boiled, not fried. 5. Legumes. Soybeans, peanuts, mung beans. Soy milk, tofu bean curd tempeh chewier tofu. 6. Vegetables cassava, Chinese cabbage, green leaves, potatoes, lettuce, carrots, bean sprouts, onions. Mushrooms, green beans, cucumbers, lotus root, radishes, asparagus, jacama, scallions, plantains. Pickles. 7. Fruit. Bananas, coconut, jackfruit, mangoes, papaya, oranges, limes, melons, pineapple. 8. Nuts and seeds. Cashews, almonds, sesame seeds, lotus seeds, watermelon seeds. 9. Seasonings. Fermented fish sauce, nook mam, nook cham, nook mam plus chilies, vinegar, sugar. Garlic, and citrus juice, lemon grass, ginger, mint, basil, pepper, coriander, basil, chilies, garlic, lime. Leaves, vinegar, citrus juice, coconut milk, curry powder. Nook mam tastes salty and Umami, savory, and is put on many dishes. Their dishes are surely composed of the following. 1. Steamed rice. Chow rice gruel. 2. Boiled cassava. Faux beef and rice noodle soup with fresh vegetable garnish. 3. Mean gar chicken noodle soup with herb garnish. 4. Beef broth. Squid, shark, fin, or crab and asparagus soup. 5. Fried noodles topped with meat and vegetables. 6. Leaf wrapped. Mixtures of cooked meat and herbs. 7. Ban Q and steamed rice dumpling rolled around cooked. Minced meats, shrimp, mushrooms, and onions dipped in nook cham. 8. Rice cakes. 9. Fish steamed. Stewed, barbecued, or minced for fish cakes and fillings. 10. Fried red snapper with sweet and sour. Sauce. 11. Bo Nung Exa pork or beef marinated in fish sauce with minced lemongrass and grilled. Stir fried bean curd with vegetables. 12. Boiled or fried potatoes. Raw salads such as goi go, shredded. Cabbage and unripe papaya topped with cooked chicken and cashews. 13. Curries. 14. Spicy peanut. Sauce. The specialty dish are the following. Cha jo, this is a small rolls of minced meat and vegetables wrapped in rice paper and deep fried sweets, sugarcane, sugar, fruit, sweet custard, sweet rice cakes, cream filled pastries, beverages, broth, tea, often with lotus blossoms, coffee, soy milk, fruit juice, soft drinks, they also have beer, rice wine, and whiskey. Yes, let's not forget about the street food. First one is called pho, it is made of sugarcane chunks on bamboo skewers. And the chow tom is a grilled shrimp pate coated with sugarcane. And that's the end of this video.